This is without a doubt one of the saddest videos I ever have to like film and post. Um, this is all the stuff that I really want to buy, but I'm not going to buy because I'm on a low buy. <laughs> all right, welcome back. I'm not actually sad about this. This is a kind of anti-haul. Um, I'm not not buying this stuff because I think there's something wrong with it. I just, as you know, have been trying to be a lot more mindful with my purchases and um, am going to be trying my best not to purchase these things. Although, you know me, I'm probably going to buy maybe one or two things. But yeah, so let's go through. There's a whole bunch of new stuff being released. I'm going to be focusing on higher end products today because it is, I guess... Sometimes when things are more affordable, we kind of allow ourselves these little luxuries. But when they are more expensive items, we do kind of stand a little bit firmer. But like I said, we'll see. So the first thing we're going to talk about is um, skincare. And it's from the brand Fresh. And I'll have a photo of it here or here somewhere for you to see. And it is the Strawberry Sugar Scrub. And it just looks delightful. So it is... I, I've liked pretty much everything I've tried from the Fresh brand. I think they're a really nice trustworthy kind of brand for skincare so when i saw that they were re uh, releasing this strawberry scrub it just like like strawberries like strawberry raspberry cherry those three are like my favorite scent slash flavors of anything so um yeah so that's like a draw card plus it looks like a really nice kind of gel like consistency and so i was really i'm really tempted um for that I have plenty of scrubs I don't need another scrub but there's something about that one that's really like drawing me in um, next is a makeup like eyeshadow palette it is from Natasha Denona of course it is and it is the sunrise palette this looks absolutely beautiful have you seen the shades and um, what I really like about this is first of all I really like the color selection second of all I've really enjoyed all of the Natasha Denona shades or shadows that I've used before and thirdly, I love the fact that they have decided to reduce the size of the pans and then uh, obviously reduce the price as well. So um, I think this is at the $100 mark in Australia. While, you know, the larger pans are great, how often do we as non-makeup artists actually go through an entire palette or an entire shadow? For me, it's never. Yeah, that doesn't bother me at all um, because it makes it a little more affordable and it's actually a really great marketing technique because people are going to buy more products um, because it's a lower price point. Next is a product that I already know that I am going to regret not purchasing because um, I tried them out in store when they first came out and I was like, oh, I really want it. So it's the MAC scented um, fix, Prep and Prime Fix Plus sprays. And in particular, I really want the pineapple one. So I smelt that in store and it's just so beautiful. But I do have so many setting sprays and um, do I need one and purchase one just because it's scented? No. But it is really beautiful. So if you're after a setting spray, all of those different, I want to say flavors, but all of those different scents are beautiful. Like I said, I think my top was, I really like the pineapple and also the uh, watermelon is really nice as well. Next, one of my favorite brands, Charlotte Tilbury, they are releasing their brand new flawless airbrush foundation. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think that's it. And um, so we saw swatches of this last week maybe the week before it looks really beautiful and so um i really would love to try a base product from charlotte tilbury i also really want to try the flawless filter um like stuff that goes under your foundation because everybody seems to just love that so i'd really like to try that as well um but yeah we're focusing on the foundation that looks beautiful i'd really really like to try that one also from charlotte tilbury um i really it's taking all my willpower to not purchase the um, Hot Lips 2 collection or something from that because the packaging is just divine. The shades look really beautiful. Um, I already know that I like that formula because I've got one here. And yeah, they're just really lustworthy, aren't they? That packaging. I think I like the one with the panther on it. Is it a panther? I think so. Um, the next product, I actually have one of them, um, but I want another um, or a few others. And it's the... Um, Hourglass Unreal um, lip glosses. I'm gonna put some on now. It doesn't, you're not really gonna see much color, but I really like the texture of these. They've got a really nice minty um, scent to them, but it's not overpowering. And what I really like about these is that they're not sticky, they don't catch your hair in them, um, they don't create that like stringiness that sometimes you see with some lip glosses. Um, so yeah, I really, I really 
like this one and I want some more I want more colors I think I want more like pinky kind of berry tones onto a product that um is not new and I've wanted it for like I think I've wanted it for like years years and years it's the Chanel Soleil bronze um so it's like um in a pot it's a cream I think two powder uh bronzer so you just grab your brush you put it in this cream you swirl it around and you use it on your face Obviously, why am I explaining how to use makeup? Anyway, so it just looks really beautiful and it gives, seems to give this really nice, um, seamless, really blended uh, look to your uh, bronzer. So I really like to try that. And I'm thinking, hopefully if any of my family members are watching this, that's what I want for Christmas. So um, I might buy that for myself for Christmas. Um, instead of focusing on all like the limited edition sets and stuff like that, I'll get myself something that I know that I really want and that I know that I'll use and continue to use. Something that has just, oh, has it hit shelves? I think it's just about to hit shelves. By the time you watch this, it'll be on counter. Um, the new Pat McGrath Foundation. So I've only tried lipsticks from her line and I really, really like them. I don't think I've talked about them at all online, but I, I've been using them. I really like them. I actually bought two of the like little mini sets in Hawaii at Christmas and, um, yeah, I really love the formula and so I just feel like she has such expertise in the industry and her products seem to be so high quality. But again, that's going to be a foundation that's about $100 and that's so much for someone who um, already has a lot of different options and who uses, like I tend to just switch and swap around between foundations. But it is really like, but it is something that I'm really excited about. Something which um, will be coming to Mecca soon is from NARS. Um, so I can't actually purchase any more Audacious lipsticks because I've got a perfect cube. Um, but NARS are re-releasing, I believe it's their first ever collection that they did 25 years ago. Sorry. Um, it's their 25 year anniversary, their 25th anniversary. And so they're going to be re-releasing a whole bunch of their shades from their original collection in some really beautiful um, packaging. So it's going to be like red... Uh, packaging well you'll see on the screen here and so I definitely would love to pick up a few shades from that collection will I I don't know you'll have to watch this space um, speaking of Mecca a new range that's just come out or actually just come out last month is uh, their glow recipe so um, this is such an Instagrammable like it's got such a beautiful aesthetic to it um, the range looks beautiful in particular I want the watermelon mask and the avocado one I actually don't eat avocado I don't like it but I'm willing to put it on my face so it just looks so beautiful and I've gone in store I've smelled everything and it just looks glorious and that's something I'd like to try out as well but um, again I keep saying all the time I've got so much skincare I can't just I can't justify purchasing it um, but it really does look very beautiful and then lastly I don't know is this a really pointless video is this me going through and telling you things that I really want but I'm not gonna buy is it useful I don't know it's my lust list anyway Lisa Eldridge she is phenomenal and she is one of my favorites on YouTube for just really like like her vibe is just beautiful and one of the things I really like about her is just that energy that she brings to her videos and she knows makeup and so when she released her uh, lipsticks last year, I think it was last year, I was so tempted but to buy like one lipstick, you know, I, I would buy the lipstick, I want to support her but the shipping was outrageous and I just refused um, to spend that much on shipping so hopefully her, like as she produces more products and she might be able to get a deal with the post and international shipping won't be quite as expensive because I do really want to try one of her like velvety lipsticks they look beautiful so she's just released a whole bunch of new shades like a couple of weeks ago and they look absolutely stunning and I really really want one but like I said until the shipping becomes more reasonable um, I will not be purchasing that so that's my entire list of products that I am absolutely lusting after that most probably won't be buying simply because of my current like low buy. If you want to know what I have purchased so far this year, I did actually film a video um, earlier, which I'll link down below. And um, I will have to do another one of those um, eventually because I think I'll do, I did one for like the first six months and I'll do another one for the end of the year. And I'll show you all the totals of what I've bought and how much I've spent. Um, even though like I know I've been on a low buy, already the amount I've spent has been surprising to me. And so I don't even want to think 
about how much I've spent other years because I think it would be up in the like thousands. And while like I don't have to justify that to anyone, um, I feel like it's just not in my best interest. Of course, I would never sort of um, personally, I would never go in debt and purchase stuff if I couldn't afford it. But I think at this point, it's not so much about the money as much as it is about not wasting and not becoming really like flippant about how much stuff costs. Because, because even though I held this up and this is a lot of money and this is money that I think these lipsticks are beautiful and I, and I love them and I think they're worth the money. It's also excessive just to keep buying and keep buying. So that's kind of where my head is at the moment about like buying stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching and I would love to know what you are lusting after. Leave a comment down below if there's something that you really want to try but you don't know if you can justify the price or you can't justify buying. And also let me know what you think about the products I've selected today and if there's anything in this list that you also really want to try or what I'd love to know is if you've tried any of these products that I've talked about and they're not worth the money. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.